Get the net. That is big. Oh my gosh, this is the biggest one yet. Look up. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. I'm actually out with Lindsay today, and we're actually going to go film a video on Lake Lanier. She's actually looking to come to SCAD, so we're going to go out there, hopefully, smash some big spotted bass. Yeah. Film a cool video. Ooh. Keep working it. <laughs> That's a big one. You get him? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get the net for you. That's a good one. Looks like he's around four pounds. There you go. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh god. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. It's a decent one. Ain't a four pounder, but he's pretty good. I'm surprised not more came up. There you go. We'll, uh, we'll put him in the live well. Got him. This fish is strong. There he is. He's not big. Hmm. That's one thing about these baits. I lost a. It's the craziest thing ever. I've never. Like I was just coming here, and I would just almost every cast. But they, you lose so many fish on them. Like I hooked the other day. I hooked one. I hooked two or three like spots over four pounds. And right when I hooked it, they just stayed still and they just shake their head. I couldn't even move them. And just the hooks on. Oh, come on. He broke me off. That was a big one, too. That was no joke. And I only had like two more of these. He literally broke the whole thing off. Because you got to throw it on like four pound line. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's what he was doing in front of us, too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look how big he is. Get the net, get the net. Oh my god. I don't think this is the one that was hitting me. All I know is that was the biggest spot I've ever seen. Yeah, that was big. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is actually kind of big. He's a big guy. Oh my god, I can barely move. This is a monster. He's coming up. Oh my god. <laughs> He's not as big. Alright, I can tell you one thing. That fish that was hitting it out there. Yeah, I saw that. That's how big you think that fish was? Like five and a half. That was about a six pound spot. I Look at how he ate that. That was insane. That ain't a bad one at all. <laughs> I wish the big one would have got it. There is. Is what? That happens to me all the time. All I know is that one that was hitting it was about five times that size. Multiple out there. That's a good sign right there, though. <gasps> That's an even better sign. Look at him behind it. Look at him behind it. Did you see that? Huh. <laughs> I don't know if he didn't, couldn't see it because he didn't have sunglasses. Did you see him like tailing it? Mm -hmm. What is going on? <laughs> These fit, I think that's how we're working it. Yeah. I really do. Cause you could tell they're not like, I mean, those were kind of aggressive, but God, I wish I got yours on film. That was crazy. Oh, oh my God, let him, let him eat, let him eat it. Let him eat it. Did you get him? Oh my god, that is, a, that is, just keep pressure on him, that is a monster, oh my god, I was about to say you're directly over that pile too, keep, just keep, keep pressure on him, bring him over to me, yes, there you go, <laughs> that's the biggest one yet, 
Look at him barely hooked. <laughs> Look at him just fell off. Be careful with him, he's strong. Look at his stomach. That's a good one. <laughs> Look at that one. Look at him. God. Look at that. He's tearing that bait up. I'm finally coming up and eating bait, and they won't eat ours. Get the net. That is big. Oh my gosh, this is the biggest one yet. Look up. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my gosh. Get him in the net. And bring him up to you. Oh my god. <laughs> now that is a freaking monster. Oh my god. Now that's a beast of a spot. <laughs> Look at that one. That's crazy. See how fat he is? Mm -hmm. I was just talking about it too. <laughs> wow. That's honestly. I think I haven't caught that one this big that big this week. I don't think. That one's well over well over four for a spot. Throw in there, throw in there. Tell me how, right there. Tell me how that fish missed it that many times. Oh my God. That was another four or five pounder. That's a small one. Where's a big one? That was a giant, did you see him? God. cast in there well he's not bad i thought he was small oh, he ain't that big. oh my god tell me how and i was about to say let's leave right after that cast that is unreal those are good ones too oh my god no 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 <gasps> Go, keep working it, keep working it, keep working it. Oh, he's behind it. Get him. Did you get him? Is he big? You need the net? He came off? Oh my god. That was it. That was a four pounder. Right there. God, that is a shark. There's multiple. What's going on guys? Uh, you know, I was editing this video, I was looking at the footage and I realized I didn't close off the video, but I wanna kinda explain what we did this day. This is kinda something I wanna incorporate in every single fishing video. I wanna tell you guys what we did, what kind of rod I was throwing, what kind of line. And if you guys like that, leave a comment below because I'll do it on the water and give all the details that we were doing to catch those fish, um, how we caught those fish and what we were doing. So, I actually got out there with Lindsay and um, had a great time. Um, it's actually my first time fishing with her. She's possibly coming to SCAD. Um, my coach is looking into recruiting her. And, uh, you know, we had a good time. We are out there catching those fish on top of water. So, what we were doing in those hot summer days, those fish, you know, all those fish, they, they push out, they go out deep, especially on Lake Lanier. And Lake Lanier's deep structure, it's not like ledges or like none of that stuff like the Tennessee River. Alright, so there's brush piles. Um, you got those humps on the main lake um, that they sit off on. But most of the stuff I was fishing, we fished a few humps um, here and there, but we did fish a majority of brush piles, all right? So what we were doing is fish are tuck up all up in those brush piles, and Lake Lanier is very clear. The spotted bass, very aggressive. And that top water is going over that pile. Most of those piles are around 35 foot. I mean, they're deep. And when that top water is going over those piles, they just want to come out and just destroy that thing, especially if there's a little bit of current, a little bit of wind. But that day, this day in particular, this fish were very slow because it's like bluebird skies, zero wind, it was just tough. So the adjustment that I, I was experimenting with, I started working my top water very, very slow, and this fish just started coming up. Finally started to commit. We didn't catch many fish this day, but all the fish that we caught were, caught were very quality, and she actually caught her personal best spotted bass. So that was perfect. Um, I caught one that was literally around about five pounds. Uh, in the video, he really didn't look that big. Uh, I promise you guys, he was <laughs> he was huge. Um, it was insane. It was it was really crazy. So we had around like 18 pounds, best five fish, great day on the water. 
Um, but what I was saying, so throwing over those brush piles out deep, this fish coming up and eating in that clear water, they can see it, so they come up and just you know, pound away on that top water. Um, had to make small adjustments, but we still stuck to the top water deal, still stuck to the aggressive bite, but just made adjustments to that aggressive bite so this fish would commit, which was slowing it down slowly, walking that bait back and forth. I was throwing a Sammy, which was chrome. She was throwing a Spook, which was a bone color Spook, which is completely opposite, but they were actually eating both, so we didn't really adjust with that. Um, overall, the rod and reel I was using, the rod I was using a seven foot medium heavy. Um, it has a pretty good bit of tip. It's fast action, it had a pretty good bit of tip. Um, wasn't too heavy, it wasn't too light. It was just perfect, so that medium heavy rod, seven foot, perfect. Um, that was great. The reel I was using was a seven three to one gear ratio reel. And the line I was using, I actually used braid um, on all my top waters. So I was using, I believe it was 30 pound braid. So it's pretty thin. Um, could get that long good cast out there and uh, get that fish in the boat. But overall, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up button. Please leave a comment below. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And there's a little bell next to that subscribe button. Make sure you go click that thing and stay tuned for more videos. I know this video might have been kind of just calm and, you know, I didn't really film too much and it kind of sucked. So it wasn't like super hype or, you know, it wasn't too much going on. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do what I said. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys at the late next videos. See, I think that 24 7 an understatement to my day to day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. They just say, I say it ain't no way. I ain't never listen, kept them at the distance. This is for the ones who ain't afraid. And this is more than some paper chase. I wonder who else can say the same. Never worry about what they attain. If I'm living, then I really can't complain. Can't contain who you really are. I know my true colors like the same.